Hey Aries, this is Kelly from Mumpai Tarot. This is going to be your love and general tarot reading for April 2018. I'm going to start with the love reading first and then move on to your general reading. Okay, I'm going to just combine the two for the month of April and see how that goes because I know some of you are not listening for just love and I, I really I do generally do love readings, uh, but I thought maybe we would put in some general for you know, career and overall, uh, what's going on overall in your life. Okay. So this is going to be for Aries, sun, moon, rising and, or Venus. So if you, if this doesn't resonate for you, of course you could check your other signs. All right. So let's get started. So for love, your overall energy is the seven of cups. So this card represents, there's a, a lot of options for you in in this month um you may be currently you may be out dating uh you may be meeting a lot of different people um sometimes this card can be about temptations um so if you are currently in a relationship or something exclusive you could have a lot of temptations uh, surrounding you but for some of you i'm not really sure that you're uh, all that enthralled, <laughs> maybe the, maybe the pickings are slim or whatever, uh, opportunities are out there. You're just kind of like, maybe you're not feeling up to par, um, this month for dating if you're single. And, and even if you're in a relationship, you may just be not interested in, you know, others or who's coming after you or what have you. Now your past position, you had the wheel of fortune. So some of you may have been on a trip in the recent past, traveled somewhere. Um, you may have felt like things were in your favor as far as uh, maybe just things were starting to work out a little bit or going a little bit smoother or easier for you recently, or at some point in your life, you, or you could could have been, you could today be thinking about the past, um, how times were so much simpler or things were so much different, or you felt like you had the world at your feet, that kind of energy, even though I don't have the world card, sometimes the wheel of fortune and the world card go hand in hand. So I feel like at some time things had come full circle for you, maybe in maybe a relationship or a situation in your past used to be really good and and maybe presently you're thinking about that um so i was going to clarify that but i'm just going to move forward actually no i'll sh i'll show you the card that i pulled is the emperor and that's of course the aries card so there could have been this energy of you know you feeling before that it, or, or reminiscing that you were on top of your game at some point or your home was structured you were or you were dealing with someone who a father figure or something like that now when your present energy is the knight of swords so this card can represent there's some type of anger or an ang or you're dealing with an air sign or there's a situation that's happening in your life where there's forceful energy surrounding you or you're feeling this way okay and it, i feel like for some of you it has something to do with a relationship with the hierophant here um or a sense of um or a marriage you know um maybe there's arguing happening in a relationship or a marriage or things are on the rocks right now for you and with the six of wands driving this this force within you the the purpose for the for the arguing or the uh, you know the fighting or whatever's going on is this energy of wanting to be victorious or to be a winner in this situation okay you have something that you are defending you feel justified you feel right in in a situation and so there's some conflict in your conflict, there's conflict in your mind. You may be trying to fix a marriage, maybe, or fix a relationship. 
I have your partner or the other person or whomever you, whether this is a lover or a family member or whomever, the five of pentacles is here. So there, it seems like there's supportive energy around you. It seems like this person wants to be supportive of you because the two of cups is coming up in the near future. So that's an energy of two people coming together and, and righting a wrong or fixing a situation. You, you Aries, it seems as if you are in the right in April. Someone, whomever you have been dealing with uh, or whatever the situation is, I feel like you're going to, uh, this person's going, you're gonna meet eye to eye on the situation, you know, because you're ready to walk. You have the five of cups here. This is, and, and your advice also is for you to just back out now at this point. You've, you are going to be saying your piece. You're going to put your foot down in a situation. Uh, and, and I feel like you're doing that because you have what you need to back you up. You know, if you didn't have it, if you didn't have the evidence or what it is that you need uh, to stake your claim, then you wouldn't do it. But you do. And so you're going to say your piece and then you're just going, you're going to defend yourself or whatever it is, whatever the issue is, you're going to win. And your advice is to just do what you have to do and then pull your energy back. You've, you've said all you need to say now at this point. And I feel like whoever you're dealing with is going to be coming together. You know, of course, in your hopes and fears, you do fear that there's that the situation just will not end and it'll be continuous confrontation and continuous arguing and things like that. Um, but I feel like uh, this is, you know, this is just your hopes and fears. I don't really feel that this is the energy that's gonna play out for you, okay? I just feel like you're, you're you don't wanna be stabbed in the back. You, you don't want, you don't want confrontation in this relationship whatsoever. So the outcome card, is really for you to just sit back now and see what this other person does. Even though, you know, they are meeting you halfway, even though they're going to agree and there's going to be that reconnection again, you're still just going to, okay, uh, you know, I'm not arguing anymore. Even though you agree with me now, I'm taking a back seat on this situation, you know? So I feel like you're going to lay low for a while and try to figure out and, and also kind of be at peace, take a break because it's overwhelming or it what or you know it will be that things I feel like we're just someone maybe tried to disrupt your your flow in love or in your life in some way someone tried to um, uh, just mess things up for you even in a work situation or a family situation it, it doesn't have to just be love but you know you may have been at a job or dealing with an employer or you were a boss and things were going well, money was coming in, things like that. But now there's some type of threat to the stability of your workplace. Uh, or you were dealing, or you were dealing with a, a boss who was just not budging about a situation. And so it, 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 it's like, it's just making it difficult. There's confrontation, but you're going to fight for your job. You're going to fight for um, the place that you work or if you own a business and because your intention is always to be successful. So you're going to stand your ground. And, and again, as I, as I, as I see here, either if you were dealing with uh, say a uh, business partner or someone in authority or whatever the situation may be, could be the tax, the tax man, whoever it is, I feel like things are going to work out coming towards the end of April, if you have money that's owed, um, or if there was a, an abundance of money and someone uh, was controlling the finances where you work or your place of business, and now you're trying to keep your business afloat because something happened with money, there was a, maybe an argument of, over the finances or funds were missing, um, yeah, I feel like things are going to actually come together. So for, for some of you who may owe a lot of money in taxes or things like that, um, there may be a threat that 
you may have to close your business because there's so much money owed. But I also feel like, um, you know, you're going to take a break from the stress of this, the emotional stress. Your advice is to not get emotionally overburdened by uh, money that's owed or um, a situation, a financial situation that's currently at least starting in the beginning of April to cause um, worry. Uh, because worrying about it, you know, your, your emotional state is not going to put the money in the bank. I mean, if anything, it might, might make it more difficult because you will not be able to focus. Okay. You have support though. This the five of pentacles is financial support. So this is almost feels like some type of energy floating around you where you're going to find some hidden money somewhere, or there's going to be someone who maybe they'll be able, you'll be able to get a loan or there'll be a collateral uh, advance or something will come to you that you will be able to pay what you owe or, or get the funds to keep your business going. There's going to be some type of a connection with someone that may help you. Okay. And you'll be able then to just take a break now to just, because the, the nine of wands, and I always say this, say this about this card, I always think as someone who's in a boxing match, you know, and between rounds, they go back to the corner and then they rest, they have to regroup. And I feel like after all of this stress, um, you'll get an opportunity now to just pull back and breathe after all of this. So April's April will be a little bit of a tricky month, but I do feel like you're going to be able to handle it as long as you maintain your um, emotional stability throughout this situation, because you don't, you don't, then, you know, if that gets out of control, then you're going to have to deal with that. And then the business as well. So you may need to find someone to speak with to help you as well. Um, a close friend or someone who's knowledgeable um, in career or your in finances and things like that to help you because I feel like they there is going to be someone who will. Um, so th there could be an issue with a Taurus or an Aries. Um, there could be water somewhere here uh, or an air. It's pretty much all of them. No earth. I'm not feeling any earth. I mean, you have the five of pentacles. This could be an earth sign that offers to help you in some way. A Virgo and Taurus, of course, with the higher font for earth. So it's really not 100% relevant because we, we have signs in all, you know, planets and all the signs. So I wouldn't try to focus too much on that. I feel if this resonates for you, then you know who I'm talking about. Okay, so... Yeah, your overall energy, Ten of Pentacles. Did I already pull overall energy? Well, I'm doing a second if I didn't. So this is financial abundance. So I feel like things are going to be okay for you. Security, financial security. Okay, and for love, also safety. A feeling of, um, you know, feeling secure in a relationship. So hang in there, Aries. And uh, if you would like to get a personal reading, just look at the description box below. All the information is there for you. And uh, I will speak with you soon. All right. Thanks. Bye.